What's the latest? Well, the latest is a statement from the office of the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, confirming that Israel will allow aid to enter the Gaza Strip from Egypt at that Rafah crossing in the southern part of, of the Gaza Strip, as long as that food and water, and he's specifying only essential humanitarian aid, does not fall into the hands of Hamas. This is significant in the current circumstances for the U.S. President Joe Biden, because as you mentioned, uh, that summit that was um, much anticipated, billed as something that would dampen down the tensions in the region, was cancelled. It was cancelled by Jordan and Egypt, as well as the Palestinian president. But Jordan and Egypt are both countries who have peace agreements with Israel. So very significant and a reflection of those countries under pressure from their populations over the anger that people feel, not just about this this explosion at the hospital, which many people in in the Palestinian streets certainly will blame on Israel, but for the for the the pain and suffering that they've seen going on in the Gaza Strip under the Israeli bombardment so far, and many uh, in the Arab world are suspicious of the United States. They've long said that Washington's you know unprecedented and unreserved support for Israel disqualifies it, if you like, from being an honest broker in this, this very long, decades-old conflict. But this announcement about the humanitarian aid will at least allow the U.S. president to come away saying he has done something for the Palestinian people. He also said to uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu that it was important to remember that Hamas does not represent all of the Palestinian people. He said, the Hamas has essentially brought misery to the Palestinian people. So uh, a little bit of a, a success, I would say, there for Joe Biden. And certainly if that humanitarian aid gets into Gaza, it will be very welcome relief.